today I'll be showing you a presentation on the endangerment of the mer leopard. I'll be showing you the problems and solutions that made it endangered. Thank you for watching. Join me now as we visit pre-war ski cray in southeast Russia. Less than a hundred emmer leopards are alive. A hundred. Imagine if there were only a hundred human beings alive. How would that make you feel? You may be asking yourself, why are these leopards so important? Would it even matter if they were extinct? Well, this may answer your questions. According to WWF, the emmer leopard is important ecologically, economically, and culturally. If we let the emmer leopard go extinct, it will not only hurt it, but it will also hurt other species around it, including the emmer tiger and what they prey on, such as deer. With the right conservation efforts, we can bring them back and ensure long-term conservation of the region. Before the mer leopards were extinct, the food web of northeast North Russia wasn't as complicated. There were many more mer leopards and mer tigers, and the smaller prey weren't so overpopulated. But we can bring that back, but first we need to know how these creatures got endangered. The mer leopard is endangered because of poaching and trade habitat destruction, and wildfire, wildfires. People poach these, this amazing creature for its beautiful spotted fur. Female and male leopard fur can range anywhere from $500 to $1,000. In the village of Barbash, which is not far from Kedrovaya Pad Reserve in Russia. Also, people poach the emmer leopard for its bones that are used for Chinese medicine. Another reason for the endangerment of the emmer leopard is habitat destruction and degradation such as building new roads and logging and forest fires that are all caused because of us. It's estimated that nearly 20% of emmer leopard habitats are affected by forest fires every day. Some ways that wildfires begin include smoking, lighting, and burning debris. I feel terrible. My friends and family are gone. My tribe used to be big and full of leopards. I couldn't even count. But now, there are less than 50 of us. I remember when it started. My brother went off to go hunting, and soon I heard a roar, and he was there, dead and bleeding. Soon after, all of us were starting to die and get hunted by men. And now, it's just the two of us. How can you help? Some solutions to this problem include reinforcing policies about poaching and trade. If the laws are more strict and had larger fines, then people would be stop poaching animals for their fur and selling it because they would be more afraid of being caught and paying a large fine. Also, deforestation is a large problem and we need to fix it quickly. We need to start participating in more foundations that are protecting the habitats of many beautiful creatures. Also, to add on, we could stop deforestation by cutting down at least 20% less trees and plants. And when we do cut down trees, we have to replant. You can do many things, many little things to help the lives of poor animals.